Right, uh, so in the previous tutorial, we have seen how we can uh, plot diagrams in LaTeX, and uh, now uh, let's see how we can uh, enter our theorems and proofs in more convenient way. So, uh, if you have seen uh, the research publications and other maybe academic uh, notes, uh, the theorems has been specified in a specific format, right? More standard format. And uh, it follows maybe corollaries and maybe uh, proofs are there, right? So we can uh, specify those theorems in more uh, standardized way instead of just directly writing like this. So let's see how we can do that. So first I will make a new chapter and maybe let's say theorems and uh, proofs and yeah so first uh, let's try to make uh, maybe a theorem right so uh, in order to make a theorem first we have to uh, specify uh, a new command uh, here at the very beginning of the document right so here let me make a comment by saying theorem and proofs related configurations and in order to construct a theorem first you have to make this as a new theorem and you have to pass uh, the labels like this theorem and the rendered name will be theorem okay now we can use this label to construct this theorem right so let's copy this value and go down and let's begin a new uh, theorem like this so you can now wrap whatever theorem you want over here so for now I will simply use some sort of lorem text like this but uh, you can use uh, actual theorem uh, based on your requirements and let's build it so now the building actually takes quite a lot of time because we have imported a lot of packages and we are drawing a lot of things over here so compiling the entire document will take some time because of the complexity of the uh, latex document uh, but yeah let's wait a few seconds right now you can see that uh, our theorem is there right so now you can see the theorem has been properly named and uh, proper styling has been applied and everything automatically handles uh, by latex so likewise you can uh, give uh you know corollaries or even lemmas or anything you want uh so maybe yeah let's let's uh, give this theorem a proper name uh so maybe i will copy this entire thing and let's say if i'm going to use maybe let's say pythagoras theorem right so i think i have the tab open so let's say i'm going to define a pythagorean theorem and the theorem is i think something like this right uh, yeah let's copy that as well and let's replace this one right so this this is the way how you actually mention a, a general a theorem right uh, and maybe we can define that specific uh, theorem in notations as well so it follows somewhat like this a to the power of n plus uh, sorry it is not the power of n it's actually uh, yeah it is the power of 2 plus v to the power of 2 equals to v to the power of 2 
Um, let's build it. Okay, I think the uh, most of the build time consumed for this uh, specific uh, plot rendering. So in the next time I will uh, disable this stuff, otherwise it will take quite a long time. Uh, yeah, let's wait. Okay, now we have our theorem, right? So it has been properly named as well. Okay, uh, so first uh, let me maybe let's disable this specific thing otherwise it will take quite a long time to build right so let's make some comments like this um no maybe yeah we have to comment each and every line otherwise the build time takes quite long uh, that's why I am commenting these things out. Okay, and let's comment these proteins as well. And this one as well. Right now, let's try to build it again. So, hopefully, now the build time should be fast. Yeah, you can see that now it has been built uh, quite fast. But uh, if you are going to uh, use this template, uh, please uncomment this stuff. Otherwise, uh, yeah, your graphs won't be visible. But I just want to uh, focus on this specific chapter. That's why I just commented this stuff. Otherwise, build time will be quite long. And uh, yeah, it will be a waste of your time. That's why I commented those stuff. Yeah, so now we know how to uh, define theorems. And the similar fashion you can. Uh, construct uh, lemmas and parallelities. Uh, so yeah, in this similar fashion, let's make corollary as well. So corollary, and the textual name will be you know something like this. And we can have lemmas as well, and the textual name will be lemma. Then here instead of theorem, maybe let's Try to use that corollary thing, right? And let's build it. Okay, now you can see that we have that corollary, right? And the styles has been automatically applied as well. Likewise, maybe you can have lemma, and lemma would be like this. Now lemma is also there. So theorems, corollaries, lemmas, everything is there. And maybe let's say if you want to add a proof, uh, I think uh, by default uh, LaTeX doesn't provide that feature for you, but uh, you can use uh, a third-party library called uh, ASM uh, THA package. Uh, so Let's use that package over here, maybe. So use package AMSTHM. So this package is used for proofs, right? Then let's go down, and now I can call that uh, proof thing, right? Right now, let's build it again. and here we are so we have these proofs as well so that's how you can basically construct theorems corollaries lemmas and proofs in your latex document and uh, yeah we'll see you in the next video thank you